these winter nights are really long. So last Friday, we had a family gathering and by the time they were all gone, it was like 10.30. I moved my telescope outside and left the telescope taking picture of an object. In the morning, I realized actually I captured close to seven hours of data. By the way, speaking of winter night, if you come out in the night and look at the sky, so make sure you look towards the east side when it is rising up. Uh, look at the Orion Nebula. Uh, look at the Orion constellation. But right below the great Orion, there is a star out there. It's called Sirius. Uh, when I first looked at it, I was thinking, of, uh, I thought it was an aeroplane. And I thought it is going to come closer. Uh, I waited for a while and realized, oh my God, this big star. And uh, Sirius looks very nice, particularly in the winter nights, uh, lower in the horizon. It's twinkling because uh, of the water uh, and the humidity in the atmosphere. It's beautiful to watch, definitely something that you may need to look at it. So I wanted to take a picture of uh, a flaming star nebula. Actually, it is called flaming star. I thought actually it's a, like a supernova, but it is not. It's actually an emission nebula, similar to Orion, similar to other ones. But somehow this nebula is so intense in terms of like the way it shows up in flames. It's beautiful to watch. It is uh, pretty close to that California nebula, pretty close to the Pleiades. And below that, it has also a supernova remnant, huge supernova remnant. So it's a beautiful target. I would love to take picture of that one. I knew for sure it has a good HA signal and sulfur signal, uh, but oxygen signal is not that great. So I would like to spend some time, like 10 plus hours, see how that picture is going to come. I'll show you guys that picture. Thanks for watching.